Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound NaH2PO4. Now here's a little trick guys. If you have an ionic compound that has three or more different elements in it, you know that you have at least one polyatomic ion. So it's always easiest to spot out the polyatomic ion and then work from there to name. So in this case, we have four different elements. We have sodium, hydrogen, phosphorus, and oxygen. Now let's spot out the polyatomic. Keep in mind that polyatomics are never gonna be on the periodic table. You have to memorize them. So the one that we're gonna be working with, I put down here. Whenever you see an H2PO4, that always has a negative one charge. You should memorize your charges as well. But that one is always called dihydrogen phosphate. Dihydrogen, two hydrogens. So here is my polyatomic, right? It's the H2PO4. Now the sodium, which is Na, is a metal, right? And I know that it's a metal because it's over here on the periodic table. That's in metal, you know, territory right here. Now we're ready to name. The metal name always comes first, and that name always stays the same. So Na, which is sodium, I'm just going to put sodium. And all polyatomics that you have, those names also stay the same. So since it was dihydrogen phosphate, right, that was the ion name by itself, this is going to be dihydrogen phosphate. Dihydrogen phosphate. And now you're done. I would just do a quick check just to see if you need a Roman numeral. But since sodium is not a transition metal, it's not in that block, I don't need a Roman numeral, and therefore I am done. So long name, but it's just because of that polyatomic. So NaH2PO4 is sodium dihydrogen phosphate. And that's it, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for viewing this video. I really hope it helps. Um, as always, I hope you have a great day. Let's keep studying hard. You guys got this. See you in the next lessons. Bye-bye.